not equal to zero again. And I'm going to make sure I put it in the proper order. So I'm going to put the X. Nah, let's not say proper. Standard order or easiest order to deal with. Okay, I could try to factor it. I doubt it factors, but I don't even want to play around with it. So my A is 4. My B is negative 12. My C is 13. All right, my quadratic formula, which is saved in my clip and paste, is right there. So that means I'm going to have negative, negative 12 plus or minus negative 12 squared minus 4 times A is 4 times C is 13 over 2 times 4. All right, well, negative, negative 12 is 12. 2 times 4 is 8. And then I got to take my calculator. Negative 12 squared minus 4 times 4 times 13. Negative 64. Okay, so now this will simplify to 8i. All right, 8i. So this gives me 12 plus or minus 8i over 8. Now it's supposed to be in simplest form. The 12, the 8, and the 8 will all reduce by 4 and give me a 3 and a 2 and a 2. So I should reduce this to 3 plus or minus 2i over 2. Okay? Um, I'm not going to be uh, super crazy about reducing the simplest terms because I don't think that it's that necessary. All right. But if it's a multiple choice question, it's going to answer is going to be in simplest terms. And if the regions ask for simplest terms, you have to give it in simplest terms to get full credit.